gentlemen. Um, my name is Urbis de Pierre. I'm from the SA Institute of Steel Construction. Um, I won't tell you about architects, but I can tell you about contractors. This contractor was late for a meeting and he was driving around looking for a parking spot. And as usually, he cut it quite fine and he was just getting to the point where he's now going to be in trouble with the client. And uh, he, as he went down the second time, he realized he better invoke some assistance. So he looked up and he said, please, um, please Lord, if I help me find a parking spot. Another round and he says, please Lord, uh, if I find a parking space, I'll stop smoking. And can you believe it, as he came around the next corner, the car moves out. And he quietly goes to the left, and as he pulls in, he looks up and he says, never mind, I found one. <laughs> <laughs> Contractors are a, a group of their own. I'm with the Institute of Steel Construction. I'm passing your seatbelts. I'm just going to take you for a quick um, introduction of the uh, Institute. We have activities. We are um, actively promoting the use of steel, structural steel. That's why we um, are every year select an uh, architect of international repute. And with the Department of Architecture here at Free State University, we actually bring them out and we ask them to show us what can be done in structural steel. And of course, that's what else is going to do just uh, as soon as, uh, as uh, shortly. We have an interest group. Uh, the architect sits there on the left corner. Um, in our world, the steel world, the steel, structural steel and what goes with it sits in the center. We design, we teach people to use structural steel. We write the design handbooks, we do courses, we um, try to get the industry to improve, we interact with government. Every year we have a special awards function where we reward and recognize excellence in the use of structural steel. The function is now in, um, taking place in September in Johannesburg, Cape Town and Durban. And what we do is we look at the projects that were completed last year. And it's actually quite fascinating. I'm going to show you just a few of them uh, in passing. Um, we have factories that are really not very really elegant to visit, but they do first class work. We have electronic systems and we try to have state of the art uh, systems going. For example, wireless technology is something that we've become uh, quite interested in. Birds find it a bit freaky, but in our industry it's quite, quite common. Just want to show you an example. We've just seen in Durban that wonderful stadium. The box sections that you see there with a man standing on it was in fact the ones that went up in the compression ring. And once it's up there, it looks relatively small. It's actually quite a big piece of steel that formed the final ring for the Moses Mabida. And you'll notice that in 2009, this was our Steel Awards um, entry that actually won the, the, the overall, overall annual one. We check the quality. It's an important factor. Uh, yeah, we make some products that are not um, so generally known, but this is uh, something we made for Durban. It's a 100 ton girder. Two of them go together to form one of those cranes, and those become the ship to shore cranes that we see. Um, and he said to me, Renny uh, Leclerc normally does this introduction, he made his apologies, and he said, Please don't show these guys anything done by an architect. You'll just uh, invoke some arguments, just show them stuff done by engineers. So I apologize for that, and maybe I shouldn't. We teach people to draw, we have a drafting school. We, we look for youngsters who are really a little bit daring, looking going forward. We actually try to pick them, pick them uh, carefully. Um, we also look for people with the right interests. They assure me that the same recruitment basis would work for architects. <laughs> we try to learn from the world best. We look at what's happening elsewhere. Um, this viaduct, some of you has, may have had the pleasure of visiting France and seeing it. We, we looked at that, we were inspired, and we built the Nelson Mandela Bridge uh, in South Africa. The, um, we involved with uh, most of the work to us looks quite elegant, but of course there's an enormous scope for us to, to improve our products by just making proper use and of the advice and input from architects. Safety is a major factor. You can spend a lot of time talking about that. There are many examples in Africa of um, safety uh, not, taken, not taken as seriously as it, strictly speaking, should be done. In the good old days, the Empire State Building was built. I 
I think they, they lost 22 people. They thought that was a very good, um, a very good uh, final effect. The, um, of course, there are other examples where people really are inventive engineers are known for that. But they're not always safe, but they sometimes get it. Cranes, use of cranes, uh, building of structures for the mining industry, um, building structures for the uh, petrochemical and others. Um, those are things we do. We promote the image of the South African industry. We pursue projects. We actually try to export. We're quite active in trying to find ways to export. And um, our export graph shows that we're actually quite successful. Even in the year we're in now, we're still exporting 10,000 tons a month. You can uh, calculate how many trucks represents 40 truckloads per day going out of this country. Into Africa mostly, not elegant from an architectural point of view, but we did do the Biral Arab Hotel, 9,000 tons of that was made in South Africa and exported very successfully to the Middle East. So um, there are new opportunities um, in South Africa, renewable energy, the square kilometer array and some of the others that you're familiar with. Um, we, uh, have, we keep building new um, record high uh, mine shafts, it's still the back backbone for us. So we believe the SA Institute of Steel Construction can work for you. We speak fluent steel and we like to do so. That's why we, in fact, like to cooperate with the architectural um, community and why we um, are so pleased to have architects of in international repute come and, and uh, talk to us and talk to you about the use of structural steel. Um, Mels Crowell, about him, you can only say look at the scoreboard. Look at the work he and his firm have produced over the last 35 years. There's a, a website, and you can see there's a man, he's a man that can really produce good architecture. He's going to show us some of that today. He can work with steel, which is why we uh, are so interested in him having him here. No wonder he has to his credit such things as being the chief government architect for the Netherlands, charged with uh, stimulating architectural excellence in the whole country. And he's the master architect of Fuskipol Airport. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. Mel's